If anybody is wondering, TW200s don't work well for six foot seven people. I know in the TW200s up front, you just, you just can't keep up. It's tough, I know. <laughs> yeah, it's real deep. Here, you just pretend to be Travis now with your new bike. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely gonna cut that in the video. Be like, <laughs> be Travis. And then just pretend to drop your bike. Then I'll like do some MS paint fuckery and like make it so your bike falls into an ocean. It's not that deep. All right, cool. Yeah, it is a little swampy looking. Okay, it's a little deeper than I thought. <laughs> I throw up a good rooster tail. Good. It, it just looks so cool too. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's probably like riding off road just a little bit. It's like, yeah, I feel like more confident. I guess like when I had my DRZ 400 and then bought that Africa Twin, there were a lot of situations where I felt more confident on the Africa Twin. It just felt like it was balanced better. Plus, just more mass to like keep it upright when you're moving too. But like one place I really, really, really did not like the Africa Twin was just like slow speed maneuvers in general. Uh, mud at Snake Creek. I really did not like it there either. Yeah. But yeah, I get what you mean. Don't die. There's a puddle coming up. Are you sure you want to go through it? Oh, look, I looked and felt like this. We're doing this together, Curtis. Holy <laughs> <laughs> that side was really deep. I regret that. <laughs> Imagine the sand in there. What is it? It says thanks for dumping you piece of sh That's what I think of you dumping pieces of sh Obviously, we're not dumping sh out here because, you know... Yeah, yeah, we carried it out here. Barehanded. You just can't handle the TW200.